God lives and works today. In view of our day and age, it is of utmost importance that we respond to a special call from God which we read about in the book of Revelation 14. It is the call to give God the glory. But what does this actually mean for our daily lives? Listen to the following meditation by Vasily Schlink. It is not by chance that in the end times, before the wrath and judgment of God is poured out on mankind, a mighty angel of God proclaims, Fear God and give Him glory, for the hour of His judgment has come, and worship Him who made heaven and earth. Revelation 14, verse 7. Worship of God is of tremendous significance. Today is never before. To give God the glory means to commit our wills in all earnestness to Him. When God strikes us or leads us along difficult, meaningless paths, when He allows us to experience sorrow and trouble in our families, let us say, Let Him do what seems good to Him. 1 Samuel 3 In this way, we want to give God the glory by our trust, by holding on to the fact that God is a true Father. If we accept our cross in this manner, then in the life to come we'll be most grateful for the difficult paths or suffering. They will have prepared us for glory for all eternity. Yes, if we glorify God in this way, in our own situation, particularly in these last times, then we will comfort him. In our town, a family had lost an especially dear child. He'd been murdered. When we visited the parents, we were deeply moved that there was no asking, Why? No rebellion or accusation towards God. They received a card from Mother Basilea that had the words written on it, My father, I do not understand you, but I trust you. They placed it beside the picture of their child, and so they humbled themselves beneath the will of God. This gesture must have really reached God's heart and brought glory to him in view of the millions of clenched fists raised up in anger against him. Today the sorrow of God is very great. The wickedness of millions of his created people, their revolts against him, yes, their hatred and ridicule of God and their blasphemy deeply grieve him just as in the time before the flood. But each one of us, if we glorify God in our lives, even when we can't understand Him, will find His life transformed. If we give God the glory, then, like the prayers of Abraham, our prayers will have the authority to hold back God's judgment upon a world which is sinking deeper and deeper into the mire of sin and immorality. And also we ourselves will be completely hidden in God in the coming times of hardship. So today this call of the angel is God's call for our lives. Fear God and give Him glory, for the hour of His judgment is come. You have been listening to a program written by Basileus Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.